everyone, it's Hannah Ross, and welcome back to my channel. And I am back for another declutter, but it's not gonna be in my closet this time. It is going to be of my husband's. Are you just so excited? So excited. This is his favorite. Favorite day, put it on the calendar. <laughs> favorite activity ever, he loves decluttering. No, I'm being sarcastic, he hates it. So he's a very good sport for being here. Let's get started and see if there's anything that you can get rid of. Okay, but before that, I'm just gonna give you a brief rundown on what he's got. So this is all my husband's section from this blue coat over and he's kind of blocking all of his clothes right now. So we have heavier wear up top. We have everyday wear in the middle. These are some lighter items, good for Cancun. And then what I call junky clothes or workout clothes on the very bottom. I think it's time for him to do a little declutter because we can't even fit all the shirts he has in this little cubby. So it's time, right Eric? Of course. God forbid we can't fit the shirts in. <laughs> not the shirts. Take my eyes, but not the shirt. <laughs> Captain Declutter on the case. Yes. So we're going to actually take all of the clothes out onto the bed, get him to try stuff on and see if there's anything to declutter. But because we're in the closet here first, I figured we could go over two areas that are really, really quick and might not take too much time at all. Wow. Great idea. I know. Ready so for excited. it? So excited. Bam. Do you want to get rid of any accessories? So we're starting with accessories. He has two hats and two belts. Really not a lot of stuff. I'm always like a... My love, you have to talk to the camera. I like the idea of hats. I like them. And you then I just never wear them. wear them. You have to keep this one, I feel like. I think it makes me look like an 18 year old. They really do something to so... you that I don't love. I don't know how to describe it. You're right. 18 year old. Like it's... Frat boy. Exactly. Like frat boy vibes. It makes you look like a frat boy. But I think you have to keep that one because that one was from... Oh yeah. Like that one's meaningful. Raptors champs, 2019. And just one belt of So we can get rid of this one. Oh. Yes. As it can go. This is an excellent start. He's not the best declutterer on planet Earth, so it's a really, really good start. Okay. I mean, encouraging words. Belts, we're keeping them. Yeah, of course. Perfect. Okay, you're gonna wear that you hat. You got me two of the same, different colors. Yes, of course. Okay, you wanna keep that hat for, you wanna be an 18 year old frat boy for the video? No. Moving on. All right, and now I'm going to pin you down. Ultimate to show declutter. You, to show you his <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Oh, I know what I'm coming for. You're out of here, pal. <laughs> These guys. Eric! Okay. Ugh. This is just going to be pure chaos. I'm not even going to call this a decluttering video. I'm just going to call it 35 minutes of pure chaos. So he has completely worn through the shoes. Show them the back. Or the front, I guess. They like... I yeah, probably you, you probably could. So he already replaced them and got a new pair, but those ones are toast. Now, you don't wear these sandals very often. Yeah, but I still need them. Okay, these ones you wear all the time for work. All these time. you don't wear here, but you wear a lot at home. Yeah, yeah. And then and once my runners are my runners are being worn out right now, so I'll probably jump just rather than buy a new pair, just transition into those. Okay, all right. So we are done for shoes. Big. Two big. already. I'm so proud of you. Oh my goodness. All right, let's paint you back up. And oh, you're the worst to film with. Okay, let's pan you back up and give you the first category of clothing we are going to start with for this declutter. Yeah. Oh gosh. Okay, and I've already changed my mind. I think it makes sense to go through the dress shirts here because they're already up and hanging. And I don't mm. think you're probably gonna get rid of a single one, if I'm not mistaken. So let's just go through them really quick. These no. are your work shorts, shirts. Yeah. These you wear literally all the time. This one I don't see you wear very much. I'm wearing it. Okay. These three. All the time. That's the white one. Wear it, yeah. You wear it. Yeah. This one I haven't seen you wear very much. No, but I'll keep it because okay. it's kind of like a... Like a dressier shirt? I go out. It's a little fancier. A little spicy. Yeah. <laughs> this one you wear all, all the time. time. All this the one time. you wear all the time. This one you never wear. Yeah, but I still, it's like, it has its place. It's more of a cold, cooler climate dress shirt. Yeah, it's the wrong... It's can the Canada. It's not, not Cancun really Canada. vibes, no. it's Canada vibes. Yeah, for sure. Okay, I feel it's like... It's my uh, lumber sexual shirt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, moving on from that eloquent... Well, these two Phrase. go together, you know. Yes, they they really do. They create yeah. a whole ensemble. Walk around with an axe, chopping wood. Yeah, and you really need a bit bigger, longer of a beard. Okay, yeah. well, this is your favorite. You're not going to. Yeah, it's like my Canadian uniform. Of course. Um, this is also amazing. This like arcteric little vest. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, and this is just your rain coat. Of course. So okay, so we started off really strong. Middle portion was weak, but that's okay. I knew, I knew he was You can't there. spin this in a negative light that my clothing is useful. <laughs> that's great. That's it's actually like, great. You failed. That's actually you failed. great. <laughs> and you don't have too much here. 
You only like give it's me pats on the back. Good, you throw things out. No, I actually really shouldn't be like that. It's like the it's a terrible minimalist it's philosophy. A it really is. It should just be telling you. The only thing, you know what? You know what? The only thing I'm going to tell him is whether or not he's wearing things frequently for the rest of this video. That's all I'm going to do. Sure. Okay? All right. Deal? Yeah. Okay, so now moving over to here, we are going to just start shelf by shelf. Take things out section at a time. So like I said, this is like the more heavier wear, cold wear and bring them to the bed get him to try a few things on just if he's not sure if it's fitting him anymore and then see if there's anything to get rid of sure okay ready break Good. okay so the declutter pile has started Ooh. where do we want to put this stuff on the <laughs> i mean they are sandals so maybe maybe those on the ground sure maybe. no just on the ground is fine okay in different locations we no, can't it's even... this is going to be a really fun video for us. we're going to have a really good time okay so Let's start with the cold weather. This, My favorite. this you would think is something we should get rid of. There are holes everywhere. But both my husband and I are so emotionally attached to this sweater for some reason. Like It's my Matrix sweater. We can't get rid of it. I don't know what that means, but... It's like clothing they'd wear in the Matrix. Oh. Yeah. With little thin sunglasses? Mm, no, that's more like this, where they wear like suits and like... Anyway, that's when they're in the Nebuchadnezzar. Still don't, still don't really understand what you mean about me saying that movie one time. And he was in. Next up, sweater. Yeah, my only one. Yeah, definitely keep that. W. These I'm wondering if you should try on. Try on. Yeah. All right. You can, you can go off camera to try those on if you'd like. Ooh. <laughs> what do you think? Let's see. Yeah, no, they're too tight. Yeah. And these ones fit you still really nice. Yeah. Okay, maybe we're going to go off camera to change. I mean, it's your show, so if you want to do that, that's fine. I'm just going to be demonetized. <laughs> and your shorts back on. Toss those to me. Why don't you just toss me another pair to try on? I, th I don't think you need to try anything else on. Like, these are all pants. Yeah, okay. That he, he's just getting changed. These are all pants that he, like, doesn't wear too frequently here because we're in Cancun. They're, like, his socks and stuff and his, like, thicker jeans. But... Those aren't ones that I think you should get rid of, like you wear them all the time in Canada. Yeah, yeah, sure. Unless you want to try any of them on. But these were the ones I was thinking of that They're you nice, should though. wear like, someone here. Someone could wear them. Like, I think we should donate them. Sure. Like, I don't think we should toss them. I think we should give them to someone in need. Sure. Perfect. In the decluttering pile. Great. Okay, so this section is all done. Let's scoot back in. Get get the meat and potatoes. We'll, we'll put these ones back, my love. There you go. And I'll just quickly refold these shirts now then the whole next section which will be shirts and your like lighter wear clothing all right that's your favorite keeper that's a lululemon shirt but it is it's just like i always like to have one white shirt if i want something underneath yep it's just also one. good quality this one good yeah this one good yeah this one, good. Isn't that one though the one that you said you didn't like? No, I do still like it. I still okay. wear it. These two I still wear. Yeah. It's more towards the end. I, I know it's more towards the end. I've been doing that on purpose. So when I put his clothes away now. That one I, I wear, but it's like it's a good gym shirt. But it's towards here, I guess. Like. Well, there's this one I think is stained all over the place. But I wanted to say something before. A trick, and it's not, a, it's not actually a trick. It's just for me in preparation for this video. Um, when I put his clothes away, I make sure to only put them on top to see the bottom, like, few pieces that he's, like, never wearing. So the top ones, you can just guarantee that he wears them all, but the bottom ones are the ones that, you know, we could look at. No, these two, I see, know... See, this one, look at the front. It's literally stained all over the place. Yeah, no, but I wear it at the gym. I don't care about the thing. Okay. These, I know I don't wear here because they're too hot. Yeah, but they're still, you love them. So these could be, like, a pack cold climate like keep sure. in a suitcase okay these two i feel like i should try i think you should try those on too because i know those ones fit you yeah you should try those ones on and you like having this one tank top right even though you don't wear it too much yeah it's always nice to have one okay i think that was still pretty nice yeah it's a little tight but it's, it's a little tight maybe one of these two will fit better because they're both blue long sleeve shirts that one fits way better this could be a pack for canada too because like this is something you wear when you want a thin layer a tight thin layer and it's cold out this is a keep but pack for away she's looking I'm at me i was like throw it please i'm already breaking the rule of what i said all right pants pants 
So that's it. No, no, no shirts. Of all the shirts. We didn't get, that was the category we Take needed. Take my eyes, but not the shirt. <laughs> that was the category we needed help on. Well, you know, declosures don't always go the way we expect. It's true. They can't be always a hot haul every That's time. true. That's true. Sometimes you think you're like... Sometimes you think you could get rid of a shirt that's completely stained. Sometimes your wife pressures you and you're like... Yeah. <sighs> Which is actually the worst thing to do when you're decluttering. I only do it with you. Yeah, I just feel like this one for sure, keep in circulation. Okay. That one, I just know that it will play a role in my life at some point. <laughs> It'll be a starring role in your life at that point. So these favorite little sh Saturday shorts. So keeping those. Well, which ones are the destroyed? No, these ones are the ones with a huge hole in the crotch. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, nope. Because we replaced those. No, those are the same ones. They've torn. No, well, these are the, these oh, are yeah, your replacements. Right. That's, that's a no-go. We kept the holes in the sweater, but the holes in the pants, it's a little different. Decluttered. See ya. Shorts, yes. Yep. Favorite sweatpants and... Shorts again. That's good. So we got one out I, there. Yeah, I think that's also a good amount of stuff to have. Okay, you have three pairs of shorts and you have like four pairs of like work pants. Of like work pants. Comfy work pants. Yeah. Perfect. That's great. Gym close out. Gym close out. Let's take these ones back. So we have a few to pack, one pair of shorts that are decluttered. We're keeping the rest. I hear a hint of like disappointment in your voice. <laughs> like, this is not how it was supposed to go. You were supposed to have no wardrobe by the end of this. Fully nude, all the time. I love it to not be stained. <laughs> I actually do wonder why we need clothes sometimes. Oh, Phil, Feels player. like the biggest scam. Kind of. Love this one. Yep. Wear it all the time. Yeah. Gym shirt. Agreed. Kind of have to, again, 2019, Gotta Raptors keep it. Champs. Raps. Okay, let's close this one sec. Now, this one I think I have to keep. Yeah. If I play again next Ever. year. Of course. It's basically a... His school soccer School shirt. intramural yeah. <laughs> teacher's team jersey. You've got to keep that one. Which we crush those kids. <laughs> Satisfying. Great. Love to hear it. This? That one is very stained. Yes, my grandfather has a million. His trademark brand, Double U. Never figured out what he's going to do with it, but... It's going to be something. So that's a declutter. Plus we can get a new one to support like your grandfather. Favorite, that's your favorite shirt. Favorite shirt. Fait Papillon. Used to work there. I'll, I'll do the folding if you, if you want. Only if you want. This one you wear. Yeah, I don't need that one though. I don't need it. We wear pink in October. Is it kind of rude to throw that? Well, you probably will wear it next October. Like just... No, because I'll probably buy another one if I have to. It's for a fundraiser. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Then we'll donate it. Donate. Donate. That one, I think you gotta keep. This one is a must. Kind of our... Mexico. Any Mexican holiday, we can celebrate and be festive and then... Same with that one. My eagle house. That's, that's like his Hogwarts house <laughs> at the school he teaches. They have four different houses and they're all different eagles, Bald right? Bald eagle. We're, we're leading the race. You're leading the race? Yeah. So you're gonna points. win the Hogwarts Cup? Pretty much, yeah. Amazing. Do you want to bring your shorts out now? Sure. Can I put those back? Yeah, yeah. This is great. Good job. I'm very proud of you for the work you've been doing so far. Oh, wow. Positive reinforcement. Yeah, I'm trying. I don't think we're going to find much in the athletic short department. Probably not. I can go through these quickly and tell you mm -hmm. shorts keep. Well, these ones keep. I don't see you wear very much. Well, I can start, well, once I start running again. Are they running shorts? Okay. Yes. Okay. Keep. 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 These ones are keeps, but we need to do something about them. Yeah. Because we have... They have no... They have no, no elastic anymore. But they're also but the they're best. But they're also my favorite shirts. <laughs> yeah. They're his old, like, university shorts. They're lounging shorts. Yeah. From Acadia. Even I like them. In my so, first trimester, was when I wasn't fitting anything, I was basically primarily wearing these shorts in one of his So we have shirts. to find a way to create... Anyway, so that's a, that's a need to fix. Ooh, a new project. And then finally, these ones are definitely a key. You you have three black ones. You want all three of these ones? Yes. They kind of all do different things. Why don't wear athletic shorts based on their colors? I wear them on based on their function. That's actually smart. Color has no. I don't look at my shorts and I'm like, ooh, I'm going for black today. I'm like, which ones are clean? <laughs> that actually really is your only standard, and it's not like whether they're stained or not. It's like. Are these things clean? I'm not matching my, my gym bottoms to my gym top. Oh gosh, you're so funny. And I question any man who does. Do you? <laughs> I do it, I match, but all my clothes are black and white basically, so it's not too hard for me. Okay, we'll keep these ones aside so we can figure out a fix for them, these Acadia shorts. You can just leave that pile there. Um, in this pile, do you want to add your slacks in? Mm, or no. do you think you'll wear those a No, I'll bit? wear them. 
All right, well, we also just went through all of his undergarments, and he says that he doesn't have anything to get there. No? So we're all good? All done. So let's bring the final declutter pile. Oh, my goodness, it's amazing. It's, it's like Christmas. It's like reverse Christmas. It's reverse Christmas. <laughs> it's reverse Christmas. Mm. It is kind of reverse Christmas. All right, so in the final haul, you got to stay with me for like another two minutes. All right. We have a hat that yeah, I don't I'm really think. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I know you're losing <laughs> it. You're losing it really quick. The hat just doesn't really, in my opinion, fit you that well. It's a little tight. And also, again, that frat boy vibe. We don't need that in our lives. Okay, so we have the hat. And then we have his flip-flops. This pink shirt that we just don't need. There is a plenty of gym shirts that you have that you prefer. Same thing with this white one, and it's quite stained. These have a gigantic hole in the crotch. Yeah. Can't have those anymore. Have ones that function. And these ones are just way too tight. Yep. And then we also have one need to fix. We need to do something about these ones. And then this will actually help his t-shirt pile because he has three long sleeve shirts here that we're going to put away and pack for Canada. Yeah. Because you just don't wear cool them here. Cool climate. Cool climate weather. All right, so this is it. This is the final declutter. Um, well, I hope you really enjoyed this video, and thank you. Aren't you proud of me? I am proud of you. You lasted, we even ran out of uh, camera time, so you lasted over 30 minutes on this video. Can I go swim now? <laughs> <laughs> so no. you can do whatever you want now. So Eric was a very good sport today. He truly, I, I would venture as far as to say that you hate decluttering. Mm, it's not one of my, like on my list of things I enjoy doing, it's not up there. It's, to me, it's like tied with shopping. You really don't like shopping. I don't like buying and I don't like throwing anyways. Because for me, it's like this cycle that I sh shouldn't have to engage in anyways. So. Once I have it, I don't want to get rid of it. And then once I get rid of it, I won't want to have to buy a new one. I'd just rather be content with what I have. Ah, oh, I agree. It's like the whole ethos so. to my channel. So I love that. What an excellent send off. The difference people. for me is like, if I have five t-shirts or 12 t-shirts. You don't really care. It doesn't like take occupy space in my mind. And you know that that actually are thoughts that have crossed through Absolutely, my mind. Absolutely, <laughs> because we're having dinner and randomly you'll be like, are you going to wear that shirt? And I'm like, how does your brain even work? I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's so. truly shocking to me sometimes. See, I like, uh, they weigh in the back of my mind in the sense that I want to have the least amount possible with the most amount of opportunity and then never think about it again. So I want to be able to go to like a ball or to the gym and have everything that I need and not think about it. And, and again, be content with what I have. So I'm constantly trying to innovate a new wardrobe that yeah. satisfies every single need for me. I'm, I'm not innovating my wardrobe. <laughs> no, <I'm not>. <laughs> <laughs> There's some innovation up there, but it has nothing to do with the closet. The extent of my thought is like, ooh, I like blue. That you do like. <laughs> Or yeah. black, it goes with everything. That's just about right. Pepper a little brown in there and you, that's, that's, that's all your clothes. That's my wardrobe. All right, well, did you have fun? Yes, thank you for your help. You're welcome. Um, and if you had fun with us, then feel free to give this video a like. And if you like the content that I'm producing here on this channel in general, then definitely consider subscribing. It would truly mean the world to me. All right, everyone, well, thank you so much for being here. And again, big thanks to Eric for being here as well. And I really hope to catch you in my next minimalism video. Alright everyone, bye for now. Bye!